Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can schedule a text message to be sent later on your iPhone. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now, there's no real way to schedule a text message on your iPhone to be sent later. But you can do a bit of a workaround using the Shortcuts app. So launch the Shortcuts app and then go at the bottom to Automation. And we want to create a personal automation that's going to trigger at a specific time. So we'll do that. And you can see one of the options here is Time of Day. Now this sounds like it's what we want, but there's a catch. Let's schedule it for a specific time of day. And let's set it up so that it's going to take place just slightly in the future here. Now. At the bottom, you have to choose a repeat. It's either going to repeat daily, weekly, or monthly. Chances are you don't want to send the same text message every day, week, or month. You just want to send it this one time. So we'll set it to monthly, which means we're going to have to remember to turn this off before the next month rolls around. Now we'll tap Next. Now we want to add Send Message as the action. If you don't see it here under Suggestions, you could always tap Add Action and search for it or search for it down here. I'm just going to add it right from here. So send message is what we want. Now you get to choose what the message should say. Let's just do a test message. And then you get to choose the recipients. So tap here and then type the name from your contacts or the email address or phone number for the recipient. And you can add multiple ones if you want. Then tap done. Now we're not quite finished with this automation yet. You have to tap next. And then the very important setting you need here is ask before running. You need to turn that off. If you don't turn that off, you're going to get a notification and you're going to have to perform an action to actually send the message. You might as well just make it a scheduled reminder then. The idea is to have this sent without you doing anything. So we'll set this to don't ask and we'll turn on notify when run. Why not? That sounds like a good option to have. If you're doing something through your iPhone, you'll notice that that appears. And then we'll tap done. And now whatever it is we're doing, it will actually send that message at that time. It doesn't matter if your iPhone is awake or asleep or if you're with it or not. It should just run automatically. But of course it does matter if your iPhone is on or off. Naturally, you wouldn't normally be turning your iPhone off. Now you have to of course remember to go back into shortcuts and then get rid of this automation afterwards. You could set a reminder to do that or just trust yourself to remember or maybe if you're doing a bunch of these, just remember at the beginning of every month to kind of clear them out. So the functionality isn't perfect but it does allow you to do this if you really need it. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.